Hey folks, so we are here, we are at Union Grove, we're getting ready to start the install and I'm gonna need some serious help because we got about three um, 75 inch screen TVs and let me take you off here so you can see what's going on. So the plan is to, let me walk backwards here. So the plan is to put two of them on either side up here. I'm gonna need some help with that. Um, and we're gonna put one here in the back. So here's the other one right here. And we are going with a A10 Mini Extreme. We have two AV cans, um, PTZ cameras. This is a 30X that they so graciously um, provided to me. And, you know, I don't need to do an unboxing because we've done tons of them. You, you get the camera. These actually came with a mount, came with a power adapter, came with remote. Same, same old. Um, but we're going to put these in place and now the benefit of these is we're going to be installing the next few projects We're using these exact same cameras. So excited about that um, But this one we're going to do traditionally we're going to hook up with some RS-232 adapters We're putting one in the back Another one is going to be in this side front right here so that it can zoom in and get the baptismal now, they already had TVs here before and they were running over RCA, um, the ketchup, mayo, and mustard cables. But looking upstairs in the attic, yay, attic time, um, they are actually all converted from RG6 cables. So the good thing is there are three cables ran to each one of these TVs that are already ran. So I just need, I already have cables everywhere. Um, since they're RG6, they've already been tested. I'm going to convert one of them over to SDI and everything is already in place. So I don't need to run cables except for internet to come in the back. Um, I am in talks with doing their network here. They actually just had fiber installed. Um, so looking at maybe doing a unified network. But for right now, um, I'm going to have these cameras plugged in right now and I'm just going to run cable on the floor. Um, for the camera control and we need to run dedicated internet back here so I don't have the people here to help me with um, mounting the TVs so I'm just gonna pull them out the box and maybe set them um, make make sure they're not having service here but I'm gonna set these up and I don't believe they are because these TVs have been in the floor um, so what I think I'm gonna do is pull these out put the legs up mount them I can get up here in the attic and I'm going to run a long SDI cable after converting it up here, down here, and put the, the SDI to HDMI converters to make sure I get a signal. Um, we can mount the cameras right now because that's six feet. We'll be good to mount those and then have everything powered up and we want to make sure we get in a signal over those cables. Now they have two distribution boxes already. They were obviously RCA we have a 4k and a standard um, black magic SDI distribution boxes that we're gonna place here so one is gonna sit here that runs to here and then the other one is downstairs um, for the other TVs throughout the church now we're not pushing 4k anywhere but I'm gonna put the 4k one here in the booth and then the other one I'm gonna put downstairs not a big deal because the ATEM mini extreme does not support it and we got a bunch of SDI to HDMI converters that's gonna go to each TV um, I need to get that laptop and I know I'm talking a lot but because <laughs> we're gonna be walking through the whole thing um, I have they have a Behringer X32 we're gonna use output 7 and 8 right now going from an XLR to stereo and that is what's going to provide audio into the A10 Mini Extreme right now and yeah so let me set this up um, oh let me show you so as you can see those are the RCA adapters but they're um, BNC cables RG6 cables um, that are there. We're just going to cut those off and do determinations, and that should be easy to test. So let's go ahead and mount these cameras and get them powered up, run the run a line so we can daisy chain to make sure that they're working, and then set these TVs up on stands on the pulpit for right now 
to make sure we get a signal. So let's do that. Again, the advantage of a PTZ, it gives you multiple camera shots and you can control it. Now, I know some people feel some type of way about it, but when you're limited in what you're doing from your media ministry, it gives you the advantage that you can give different shots and move and you don't have to worry about somebody being up there. Now, I've done a lot of cameras and the good thing is all of them have the same functionality for the most part and that's what i'm liking about the av cans this giving me more 30x is more than enough that's going to be up here um, but the good thing is you get the control we're going to flip this upside down it can be controlled over a network it can be controlled through R rs232 rs422 over ethernet over ip and um, yeah it gives you a lot of advantages and i'm liking it because most of these are coming out with the same type of basic function. So, and I'm liking the cost of this. Again, everything will be linked below if you are interested in the specifics on the cameras that we're using. But we got the mount up and I like the fact that it includes the mount as well too. So, had a little bit of issue, but we got it in there now. So what we're gonna do is pull this camera down as a test, move it up, plug it in, and we go from there. All right, so like I said, they already had cables here. So here are three RG6 cables that are terminated with F connectors or the typical coax cable that you would screw into the back of your TV, but then it converts over to RCA. So we're, the good thing is we have three of these to play around with. I'm going to go with the yellow just because that's, that's typically the one that was for video. We're going to snip this off, put a BNC connector on here, and then connect it to the camera. All right, so we got one of them terminated up there. This is, I guess this should be the right one. So we're going to terminate this. They already got a keystone jack. We're going to screw that back on, but remove a bunch of these and put SDI um, BNC adapters on here. So I'm just going to re-terminate both of the ends on here. Put a BNC adapter on there and then fine chase that cable. Put a SDI to HDMI on there and make sure we're getting a signal. And then, now the other thing, hopefully, my plan is to run the terminations for the RS232. It's just tie these onto this other cable that's not needed and pull it and use it as a pull string. Hopefully, that will work. All right, my test was right. As you can see here, we got this terminated as a BNC with a BNC coupler using the existing line. We got it terminated right there, hooked up to a HDMI in. And there we go. Now it's flickering, so probably need to just push in the termination it's probably is loose on one end so we'll do that again but we do have the right line so let me make sure I got this crimped down thoroughly and we'll test it again all right we are good to go we got it flipped everything is good now let's go ahead and mount the front one and run a temporary cable on the floor and get this one hooked up as well. All right, both cameras are up. Now, they told me that there is a cable here when they actually, they put new carpet down and there is another coax under here somewhere. So I don't wanna start ripping up anything until I find out exactly, but I just, ran a cable over here and sorry i'm breathing super heavy right now i'm just very tired all of a sudden so um maybe i didn't 
didn't realize the time I haven't eaten, so maybe that's what it is. And I think they gave me a water. Um, got this ran right here. So at this point, I'm just going to try and test the lines to find out which line is which. So I'm gonna pull down the RCA plate that's up there and just terminate the yellow equivalent um, coax cable and just push it through and that will be connected directly to the TV. So I'm gonna set one of these TVs up um, and find out which line is going where and then put the distribution hubs up and honestly i'm gonna be done for the day because i'm not feeling too hot right now um probably i just need to eat that's what it really is um but the good thing is once i find the distributions outside of pulling the cables for the control surprisingly that's really it um i do need to run another cable for the internet up here and that's when i can find out that so let's go ahead and set this tv up get a cable up there and then just I'm gonna make a long enough one with a coupler just to get down here so we can get an image and we go from there all right so we got one of the TVs set up I'm gonna move the ladder to get up there and run a cable hook up the SDI to HDMI here then I need to run a signal to see where that is going either that's going to the distribution back here or that's gonna be the one downstairs but either way we're in the home stretch yay at least that is for today at least <laughs> all right folks so what i did is we got we um changed out the plate up there to adjust a single bnc can't see it i can't zoom in with here um and i have everything set up behind this TV let me show you that and I am running a test SDI cable right now just to hook to that jack then I need to go behind the wall and do the same thing terminate that with a BNC connect it to here Put a signal and try and find where that is. Maybe have to terminate four other cables just to get this first image. Once I get one, I'll know the flow and we can go from there. All right, so we got an image here. Yay, so the cables worked. I'm done for the day though, um, but I do know the path and I'm gonna get some people to help me lift this up and mount and we're gonna put them up here, that's two. Then we got to find the runs for the remote control for the cameras, daisy chain, this one behind me, and internet. It looks like there was an extra internet cable there, but yeah, so let's wrap this up. Let me clean my tools up because we're going to finish up New Jerusalem for their service on Sunday. So we're going to go there tomorrow afternoon and finish up the speakers, the monitors, and everything like that. So. We'll be back to Union Grove and take y'all along while we're installing, helping another ministry get modernized. So we'll see y'all later. <laughs>